Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh Hill and I've been a wedding videographer in the North Georgia area for three years now. And today we're gonna be going over questionnaires and what to include in them and my top three questions that I include in my questionnaire. When I was first starting out, I was starting to book weddings and I didn't know exactly what questions to ask. I always heard all these photographers say, oh, I send them a questionnaire about a one month before the wedding and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, well, what do you like include in that questionnaire? I have no idea. I've never even been to a wedding. Bruh. I'm shooting a wedding and it's for like a relatively lower budget because it was my first few weddings, but I don't know what all to even like consider, what to think about, what questions to ask. So I'm here because I know that I needed that and I'm thinking maybe you guys do too. So the three questions that I include in my questionnaire that I think are the most important are one, timeline. And when I'm thinking about timeline, I'm thinking about when I get there, when the ceremony is, and when I'm leaving, just depending on coverage time. So usually the most important times for me are when the bride is getting done with makeup. So I usually try to get there 30 minutes to an hour before the bride finishes her makeup. That way I have time to get details, get touch-ups of the bride finishing her makeup because she doesn't want photos and videos of her like no makeup. She wants it to be pretty much done, just maybe minor touch-ups. Also get the bride getting into her dress. So that's one of the important times. The second important time is the ceremony and that way you just know when the ceremony is so you know how much time you have in between the bride getting ready and the ceremony and you know whether or not you can do bridal party photos if they're having a first look or a first touch around what time that's gonna be. The third time I like to know is the reception end or the grand exit. That way I know what time I'm leaving depending on coverage time. So usually no matter what I get there when the bride is almost done getting her makeup done and then depending if they have coverage time that lasts through the night, I'm there till the grand exit. The second question that I like to ask is gonna be different for photographers and videographers. For photographers, it's gonna be a family shot list. That way you know who all needs to get their photos taken. I usually like this done in groupings. So it'll be like bride, groom, mother of bride, father of bride, brother, sister, bride, groom, father of groom, mother of groom, brother, sister. That way, whenever I'm shooting family photos, either I or my second shooter can call out groupings and say, John, Sally, and I like to have names. So John, Sally, you're in the next photo, please be ready. And then if we can't find John or Sally because they decided to go get a drink or go get food, then I can send them to go look for them at the cocktail hour. Bruh. And then for videographers, it's good to know who's all giving speeches. That way you know how many mics you're gonna need in case you don't have enough or you need to, well, I don't know that you'd buy more, but I always like to have two different sources of audio. So I'll always plug into the DJ booth, but then I also like to mic each individual speech giver up. That way I have both audio sources and whichever one's clearer or if one malfunctions, then I have a backup. The third question, and this is probably the one that gets like the funniest stories, I guess. Um, not that I necessarily didn't ask it in the past, but the third question is if there's any sticky situations in the family, like say a divorce or a separation, remarriage, like is the relationship between your separated parents not amicable? That way we know not to put them in the same photos together or if they're gonna be in the same photos together, not to put them side by side or just however that works. I've had some pretty funny situations with, situa with things like that. So if you'd like to hear some funny stories from weddings, leave a comment down below and maybe I'll make a video about it in the future. So this one is a short one, but just to wrap it up, we have three questions that I like to include what the timeline is, and most importantly, when the bride is gonna be done getting ready, when the ceremony time is, and when the grand exit is. The second one is a family shot list for photographers and a speech givers list for videographers. And then the third one is whether or not there's any sticky situations or divorces in the family, separations that I should be aware of. That way I don't put them standing side by side and they might like bite each other. So now I'm off to go shoot a ceremony covering for a friend and I am gonna record it. So I'll show you guys in the next video how I like to capture ceremonies using a three camera setup. And I'll see y'all later, bye.